most people are familiar with the idea that things that are worth your time require a lot of work and uh, to succeed at something you generally need to suffer a little bit but today I want to talk about a, a different kind of, of level of that and it is really the breakdown that is required to, to really grow and a lot of a lot of the time you actually have to experience a point of, of, of a negative experience to get to that higher positive level and that happens that's what weightlifting is based on you're taking something that is relatively strong and you're working it to the point where it starts to break down and like at a at a muscular level you are breaking down the fibers so they can grow back stronger and I'm gonna take that even farther into like the anatomy of a set here and talk a little bit about this particular point in this training cycle when I'm doing these sets of nine, the weight itself for a single is never going to be hard. My first rep is always going to be survivable, and the technique usually holds up for a while. I've had people comment before and say that it looks like my technique tends to break down when I get tired, and that is the point. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be picking a weight that couldn't break me down. If every single one of my reps was perfect in sets of nine for this stage of, of my performance career, I guess, when it comes to lifting, I'm not using enough to challenge myself. There should be some level of breakdown. I'm trying to simulate the grind that happens when you get to a maximum effort of something. You're, if your technique is beautiful and flawless and you're calling it a max effort attempt, it's probably not a true max for you. You probably have more that you can give. There's going to be some form of breakdown at those higher levels. And when you're, I, I, that's what personally what I feel like the base mesocycle of Smolov is all about. It's, it's about intentionally break, breaking everything down so you have to fight really hard and be incredibly intentional and focused on holding off that breakdown as long as you can and, and maintaining the integrity of the form and the integrity of the set as a whole. And you're going to see a little bit here in these last couple, these, these squats just were pretty rough today. My hips are starting to shoot back, my, my chest is starting to come forward, and I just don't want to be under the bar anymore, but that is what happens when you're trying to grow. You push yourself to get there by exposing yourself to a little bit of risk and a little bit of breakdown. And if you're not willing to risk a little, at least a little bit by you know, having that happen over the course of the work you're doing, you're really cutting yourself off from the opportunity to get better. And I'm not advising people to take a weight. If you're if you're a novice in anything, jumping right into something that would be considered an advanced idea may be detrimental to you. But if you've been stuck for a long time and you're hitting the same numbers over and over again, you're just doing the same thing and not seeing a benefit from it, consider that maybe you're being too passive and consider that maybe you have to change things to the point where you are pushing past your predetermined limits. Moved over to bench and uh, had a little bit of an issue with sliding going on in this. Um, for the last two and a half weeks I've been jumping around from different gyms and all the benches have been significantly higher than these ones that I used to be accustomed to and comfortable with. And these first two sets, there was a massive degree of sliding just from my leg drive not matching up with the height of the bench. And so I went and I grabbed a couple of uh, mini bands from my bag and put them around the bench. This is a tip that I figured out a while ago that really helps when you, if you are stuck with a slick bench and your leg drive tends to fire you back into the, into the rack. Um, and you just put mini bands down along your spine and it gives you a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of friction to push against, almost like a competition bench um, with those sandpaper uh, pads that kind of keep you from sliding and it's a good way to make do with what you have um, when you're not lifting in ideal circumstances. But as I went all at five doubles here at uh, 350 and the sets got easier as I went so I must have been figuring something out and getting my groove back a little bit on this different bars. Afterwards did my accessory work, hopped up, it was doing my dips and my pull-ups, um, did five sets of those, and then five sets of rope push-down face bowls, which is my normal accessory work when I'm uh, prepping for a meet in the small of fashion. 
So that's pretty much how the workout went, and I'm feeling good about it. And I'm feeling good because it hurt. So that was a good sign for me, I hope. I do want to take a second to uh, send kind of a counter shout out or a thank you to Matt Ogus and uh, Abdullah, who made the most entertaining shout out video I've ever witnessed and just happened to be the subject of. Uh, I could not stop laughing at that video yesterday. I'll, I'll send a link, I'll put a link of it in the description for anybody who is interested in what that said. Um, just be warned, there's a little bit more language than uh, you'd normally get on my channel. And to everybody who came over and has subscribed as a result of that, uh, welcome to the grind. Um, I can't claim to be an all-powerful wizard or a uh, brave heroic hobbit, but uh, I do hope that you find um, some form of help or, or uh, motivation or inspiration from this channel. That's really what I'm trying to do. Also, I would like to say that I do have the day off tomorrow from work and the next day totally. So I'm going to try to do another Q&A uh, video series. I'm going to link in the description my Facebook athlete page and I'm going to open that up for 24 hours and allow people to ask whatever questions they want and I will go through and try to get them all answered um, as efficiently as possible over the course of however many videos it takes and we'll see if we can't get that going. So thank you guys again and I will talk to you for sure on Thursday if not sooner. Bye.